Hi everybody, how are you? Uh, today I'm going to show you what I hope to be a fix for scratched uh, wooden floors and actually anything else that is wood. Now this wouldn't include a laminate or a coating of what we're talking about is actual wood. And what I'm hearing, and we'll see if it works, is that if we take this, which is a uh, half of a walnut, we are going to be able to touch up scratches on wood surfaces. Sounds weird, right? Let's take a look and see what happens. So I've got some scratches from moving furniture on my hardwood floor. And uh, we're going to try the old walnut trick and see what it does. So what you should be able to do, according to uh, the theory, is that we take the walnut and we're going to rub that into the scratch. And hopefully it makes it either less or disappear completely. So how are we doing here? It doesn't look like it's doing an awful lot. Let's give it a little more rubbing here. And we'll try this. And see how that goes. Wow, it's not it's not as prominent. Now, I don't know if you can tell this from the video or not, but it's actually not as prominent. So we're going to do a little bit more rubbing here. That is a lot less. It may be hard to see in the video, but actually it is a lot less than when I started. So what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna to try to take a still shot of the before and after to show you, because to my eye, this is a lot less, you, know, you can see a little bit, but nowhere near as much as when I started this. So maybe we take a little piece and turn it on its side. I think the trick is here, you want to rub this back and forth and across the scratch. Don't just do it in one direction. And uh, wow, that's quite a bit different. So let's move some of this back. Yeah, it may be hard to tell on the video, but it's definitely a lot less. So I'm going to take a, uh, a before and after shot and let's compare them and see what it looks like. So here's what it looks like before I started rubbing the scratch with Mr. Walnut. And this is what it looks like after I was done. So it looks pretty decent. You know, all in all, it's not that bad of a result. I mean, there's a visible difference between what it looked like before and what it looked like now. So I'm told you can use this on anything that's wood. You can also use pecans, hazelnuts, really any nut that uh, is reasonably fresh and not toasted uh, and hopefully get some results. So. Try it on your hardwood floor, try it on your tables, anything that you have wood, and let's see what the result is like. Have a good day. See you around the neighborhood. Take care.